Madame Porter, and this is Chef Daniel, and this is Chef Angelique. Bonjour. And, uh, Bonjour. We are going today to make crepe. Uh, crepe are very fine pancakes, and we're going to do it to celebrate Chandeleur. So Chandeleur is a holiday that is celebrated on the 2nd of February in France. And Daniel, do you remember what the origins of it are? The Romans. The Romans. So the Romans had a holiday called... Paternalia. Do you remember Angelique mm -hmm. with the... Uh, yeah, that was to celebrate um, the god of the sun. The god of the sun and yeah. the god of the harvest. And the harvest. And so crepes are very thin pancakes that are a golden color and they're flat and they represent the sun. And so they would make crepe on the 2nd of February to bring back the sun at the end of winter. And it brought them good luck for the next harvest. <laughs> Fin et soleil. Uh, yes. <laughs> Très bien, oui. So, um, one little thing to note here before we start is that the word crepe is spelled C-R-E-P-E. -E. A lot of people call them crepes. The word crepe, uh, the word crepe does not rhyme with crepe with grape, and the reason why is it because is because it has a circumflex over the e, uh, which makes it say eh eh. So if it was rhymed with grape and the E would say A, it would have what's it called an accent aigu, accent. which goes mm -hmm. up like that. So crepe is pronounced crepe or crepe if you don't want to do the R, the French R. Or if there was no accent, there would probably be like, it would crepe, probably it would be, be like crepe. crepe. Yeah. Crepe. So, so the accent that goes over it makes it say eh, 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 and it comes from Old French, uh, where it replaced an S from mm -hmm. Old French. Okay, so enough of that linguistic stuff. Let's get started. Uh, so Daniel, what do we need to do first? All right, let me find the recipe here. And we're all eating right, a, 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 um, so, a here. All right, guys, so the first thing you're gonna need is on here. So the first thing you are gonna need is to mix the ingredients, so you need 250 grams of flour and, uh, and four that's... eggs, okay, that's a salt. pinch of salt, and uh, two cuillers. What is cuillers? Cuillers. 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 Oh, one other thing that while we're doing this, while they're measuring things out, is that this is in the metric system because in France they use the metric system. So in yeah. France they say cuillère à soupe or a uh, soup spoon or coffee spoon for a cafe. So a soup spoon would be a big spoon like this, and a coffee spoon uh, I'm not finding right now, but would be a smaller spoon uh, like this, like a teaspoon, okay? Um, and then we're going to use grams. So what we have here is a kitchen scale. That means that you might have to do some math to figure out what it is in the American Ooh, imperial le system. Ooh, le voilà. mat. <laughs> le mat. Le mat. Okay, Ooh. go ahead. <laughs> All right, 250 grams of no. flour. Yeah. Oh. And right here we need to mix the ingredients mm -hmm. up so flour. 250 grams. Okay, so what we're going to do is, this is zeroed out, so you're going to put, start putting it in there until it says 250. Alright, is that on the spoon? Yes. And while they're doing that, I am heating what's called our crepière. You can also use like a flat pan. Uh, I got a little bit on the counter. If you want to scoop with this instead, yes, that might be that easier. Would be great. We're at 270. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit out. 230. Put a little bit. Almost. 245. Just a smidge okay. bit more. And then we're going to get a bit more. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, that's fine. If you're a little bit over, it's not a big deal. Just add a little bit more milk if we need to. Okay, then sugar. Sugar. Two spoon. Two cuillères. De cuillère à soupe. De sucre. Deux. So, two. Uh, oh my. I would eat the sugar right now, but we're making <laughs> a video. So. Two tablespoons of 
sugar. Okay. And four eggs. Okay, wait, do you have a scraps bowl? Uh, yep, right here. <coughs> or you can use that bowl right there. Uh, do you have some salt? Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, the butter is also salted. Oh, okay, so maybe we don't have to add salt. I would put a little bit. Yeah. Just a little. A pinch and of then, salt. guys, we're going we're gonna to crack four eggs in there. Like so. And then after we add a pinch of salt. <laughs> Three and four. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. Okay, so then next we need after we put in butter. a pinch of salt. Yeah. Butter. Okay, and so how much butter are we going to need? Two, two, two tablespoons two. of butter and it's gonna need to be melted. I can put that in. Okay. All right. I like to add a little bit of extra butter just because I like butter. So if you are a butter fan, you can definitely add like a little bit more. And then we need to add the milk. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be 500 milliliters of milk. So what I do is I tend to just add as we're stirring okay. and then it'll kind of loosen up just a little bit. So try that and then you want your you want the batter to be oops <laughs> you want the batter to be really like you don't want it to be super thick right you want it no. to be like yeah 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 very liquidy yeah lighter than pancakes no? yes like when you're making pancakes oh, usually sure. you want it to be a little bit thicker but so I just tend to eyeball it but so at this point you can um, you can make two different kinds of crepe you can make sugar, uh, sweet crepes and savory um, so we're gonna make sweet so we're gonna put vanilla in it you could do like almonds mm -hmm. you could do yeah. rum rum if you wanted to um, um, Usually, oh, orange. Uh, orange. Fleur d'oranger. Oh, yeah. Flower of orange. Oh, orange wa a, yeah, orange water. Here's what an example um, of a uh, crepe would look like. Yeah. Again, yeah, oh, you can do um, uh, And the other, if you're going to do a savory, savory crepe, usually those are made with buckwheat flour and they're called galette, but that's kind of hard to find sometimes here. So if you're going to do a savory that's crepe, you can normal. fill it with. Egg, you can fill it with ham or cheese, um, cream, mm -hmm. spinach. They put all sorts of stuff in them. And I like to put Eggs. in the batter, um, I like to leave the sugar out and mm -hmm. put in the batter a little bit of thyme and rosemary um, yeah. sometimes or a little bit of garlic. Okay, so this we have to leave once it's done, we have to leave it to sit for 30 minutes. So we're going to leave it to sit for 30 minutes and then we will come back. Oh, wait, we got to put the vanilla in first. Vanilla. Yeah. We can use, if you don't want to use like actual rum, you can also use like rum extract. Do we have uh, We do. Um, but the rum, the alcohol in the rum will, will cook out when you bake it. So. Where yeah. is rum? No, we already put vanilla, so we don't need it. Okay. Okay, so we're going to leave this to sit and then we will be back. We are back and um, we're, I have this thing that spreads the, um, the batter onto the crepier or the crepe maker and um, I'm going to put it in water because it helps it spread. So I'm going to take about, I've got a ladle here, so I'm about half of the ladle. You could do about a fourth of a cup of batter mm -hmm. and you have to work quickly or else it gets it cooks very quickly, so you're just gonna twist it around, and you can put just like a little bit more on here if it's not making a nice circle. So it takes a couple times to do like the do it the right. First one yeah, is the, never the best one. The first one is never the best one, right? Yeah. 
Okay, and then you just let it kind of go and get like a like dry on the top. And then I take my the spatula here and I just kind of you want it to get kind of brown. This one's going to be too thin, I think maybe. Maybe. You want them to be thin but like not so that they're breaking. Not too thin. Yeah. Just kind of Ooh, that smells good. We put some grand marnier in it if you can find it. Yeah. Angelique said and I was like, "Yes, I have some." Oh, this. And I just kind of you just kind of pick Whoa, it. Whoa, hey, that's not up. bad. Yeah. Hey, that's not a bad one actually. So no. No, it's very uh, thin though. We might want to make it yeah. a little bit no, thicker. Très bien. Très bien. Très bien, merci. Oui. Okay. Mm. So I'll get a plate to put these on. They're good hot or cold. And you can put what Nutella mm -hmm. is popular. You can put jam, Nutella. jam, sugar. You what were you saying you yesterday? You can even put ham and cheese. Banana, on. banana, Nutella, Nutella, Nutella you together. You can even put ham and cream. cheese. With, with you you can probably yeah. put peanut butter on it. One that. thing that I see Americans doing all the time though is rolling mm -hmm. the crepe whereas in France we fold them. We, uh, we fold them so you put them into a fold like that right. rather than rolling the like kids rolling. roll but yeah <laughs> but this is the right way that's the right way is to fold them into okay no just like all right it. let's do the next one sugar and lemon juice is good oh too. sugar lemon juice is really good butter yeah. and sugar and there's a yeah. cup all right so you just eat it by much. yourself no, no always put it on it's good it's good yeah it's, okay put it on there and again and spread it it's spread really fast so you're just gonna do like a just around like that and spread it all the way around until you've got so you want to make sure yeah we might need a little bit more on here just to spread this okay, out. Okay, go at the beginning. At the beginning. <laughs> yeah, because it like, Sticky. put it over there. Good, okay, okay, all right. There we go, better. So, anyway, we're just gonna keep making these. Now you know how to make crepe at home. Enjoy! <laughs> I'm good.